now add event listener method the add event listener method is used in javascript to register an event listener on an html element it allow you to attach a function you can say also say a event handler to be executed when a specific event occur on it the add event listener method takes three required parameters now this is a syntax how we can write add event listener method object dot add event listener then we pass three argument first one is event second one handler and third one is capture phase the first parameter is a string representing the name of the event to listen for example we can write click key up or submit and we write it in a small letters second parameter is a function to be executed when the event occur means you can write a function here and now this is an example suppose you have a button and this is the object of a button then add event listener and we use click event and after that show is a function which is executed when we click on the particular button and third parameter is false which we will discuss in a future lecture button btn is a object node to which the listener is to be bound this is a btn object and in this btn object we bound the event listener event is a string indicating the type of event this is a event this is indicating then what kind of event is is it a click or mouse over or key up event you can define here and second one is a handler handler is a functions that should be called when the event occur here show is a handler functions when we click on the particular button then show is a function it is called and it is executed when we click third one is a capture phase actually capture phase is a boolean indicating whether to use bubbling or capturing this is a optional parameter if you omit there is a false by default now before we using add event listener how we can call the event listen event this is a this is how we call on click event this is a button on click and in this on click event we call a functions there here is a 
alert function n and the second one is uh, second example you can write a event of button this is a button button event and this is id btn is id and and in a script tag use document dot get element by id and here we call button we bind this event button with this dot on click is equal to function then th we declare this function alert and button click and we close this script tag and we can also write same technique with a different way here we use document dot get element by id button on click is equal to show show is a function and we will define this function in different files or in same script tag here function show and this is a declaration now as we can see we can use event handlers in different way but how we can use add event listener use and why we use it we will discuss in next slide here why use of add event listener it allow us to bind multiple handlers to an object for the same event in the previous example we see that when we click on a particular event then only define one function is executed but when we use add event listener we can bind multiple functions on a single click event it enable you to full control of phase when the listener is activated captured or bubbling phase it works on any dom element not just html element means you can use in any dom element not only a html element remove event listener remove event listener is just like a add event listener for example when you want to add a event listener you can use add event listener method and if as we have already discussed we can add a multiple event listener on a single event if we write a multiple events on a single event then if we want to remove some of the event listener then we can use remove event listener method this method is used 
to remove handlers with the same argument given when the event was added means if you give same argument then you have to use same argument in the remove event listeners for example how we can use this here btn is an object of a button event then dot add event listener and this is a event click then second argument is show which is handler means it is a function and third one is false it is by default and we also add us one more event listener on button this is btn dot add event listener then click comma show and now this time capture face is true and now we want to remove the first one from the code then we can use btn dot remove event listener then click then show and then false means the argument which you have already given to the add event listener and which you used in a remove event listener must be same and you can remove any event listener by using the remove event listener capture face capture face is a third argument of add event listener method which we have already discussed in previous in javascript the capture face refers to the first phase of a event propagation in the document object model when an event occurs on a particular dom event such as click event on a button the event goes through two main phases the capture phase and the bubbling phase and one more phase which i have not written here is a target phase and what happen in the capture phases during the capture phase the event is dispatched to the outermost ancestor of the target element and then progressively move towards the target element itself this means that the event is first trigger on the highest level parent element and then propagate down to the target element it is a just like a tree structure it is a top to bottom approach and same as in bubbling phase it is a bottom to up approach to capture an an event during the capture phase you can use add event listener method with the third parameter set to true if you don't use any parameter 
in add event listener method means if you don't write third parameter then it is by default false and it is not working capture phase if you write true in third parameter then capture phase is working thank you as i am working on a click event if we change it to mouse over or whatever you want then just name it and save it refresh it and see this whenever mouse over the click button then this function executed now i will tell you overwriting concept and how we can overcome this problem by using the add event listener method here i am writing some overwriting code this is show one function one more function first one is show one and second one is show two and delete document dot get element by id my btn dot on click is equal to function name first one is show one and second one copy and then paste what happen using the button id i bind two functions on the same button just save it what we want to do is we just click on the particular button and when we click first this function executed and second this function but what happen i will show you i just save it and refresh it when i click on a particular button what happen hello to it means hello to function 2 overwrite the function 1 or as i discuss about the add event listener it allow us to bind multiple handlers to an object for the same event but if but it is possible only with the add event listener and how it works i will tell you or i will show you 
by using the code. I just copy this now I am using add event listener btn dot add the first argument is click When I click, then show one function will be executed. Doing the same thing, btn on now show 2 Now, save it and what happened, when I refresh it, when I click on the particular button, showing nothing, show one. Now I just save it, refresh it, when I click on the particular button, first hello1 executed, then hello2 executed, ok. By using of add event listener, you can bind multiple handlers to an object for the same event here is event is button now by the using of add event listener you can add multiple handlers thank you very much